Hmm. I will heal myself! Fuck, I really need to teach Guy that thing. Come on, you just said it like two seconds ago. Remember it! I know you're really happy about beating the zombies and all that. Wow, I killed them in one shot? Well, technically two hits, but... Huzzah, hurrah! Getting some nice monies. Okay. Fire will be taught to Guy because he has the fiery passion that we all should share. And we will teach Thunder to Maria because I feel that she needs to know an offensive spell. Why the fuck not? If I can... Here's the thing. If I can... Ooh, I can actually get access to this. I'll save right here. If I can actually just teach them these spells and discard them without any consequences, why the fuck shouldn't I teach them all the spells that I can? Kashun Keep, Floor 1. Oh my god, I think we've wandered into the wrong fucking castle today. I really do. Maybe. Shit. Come on, if I can just kill one of them, I'll be happy. Doesn't look like that's gonna happen for me today. Why didn't you attack? Okay, thank you. I'm glad you feel that I'm enough of a threat to attack me. I'm probably not leveled enough to come in here. This feels like an area that I'm not supposed to be in. Then again, you are doing seven damage to Min Wu. Then again, I'm not exactly hurting you. Ugh. Indecisions, indecisions. I can't exactly do anything at the Dark Knight area. Not that I'm aware of. I should probably just go back and have a little investigation around. These feel like mini boss encounters right now. Kind of. I'll be quite embarrassed if this is a dungeon that I'm not supposed to be in right now, and I get all the way past a certain point, and then I reach like a door that I can't open unless I talk to somebody, or, uh... Or I, I run into a guy that's like, Oh, what is the password that you should know if, if you're part of the rebel forces that I don't know yet? You know what I mean? The sunfire blazes brightly. Can I... I can ask it? No, wait, learn. Okay. Uh, Sunfire, what do you think of airship? Mithril? Wild Rose, you see? I'm not supposed to be here yet. I cannot ask fire a question that it will answer. What the fuck? That's confusing. I'm getting attacked by balloons. Excuse me, I've been to a lot of birthday parties, and I don't think I've ever in my life seen a balloon that quite looks like that. Similar ones. I've seen pinatas that kind of look like that, but... That? I'm not... No. I don't like those balloons. They've obviously been up all night and their eyes are red. That's, that's what we'll tell the children, that they've been up all night. Nothing else. Hmm, not too impressed by you balloons. Wow! Holy shit, Maria! Why the hell did you... What? Maria, why the hell did you do 120 damage to that poor balloon? That's overkill! That's... wow. Maybe I should have been teaching Maria the spells earlier. Oh shit, that's that evil area that I'm not supposed to be in! Hmm. Deadhead, eh? Wait a minute. Thunder it! Maybe, maybe the balloon was just weak to thunder. That's a possibility. I will not, you know, put that by the wayside. Let's test this out. You see, now she's doing only a respectable 26. That balloon, man. Maybe it just got critical, critically hit. Not too sure. I feel like I need to go back to the Dark Knight area. I feel like I haven't accomplished enough to be moving on. I feel like I need to go back and talk to Sid. Which, by the way, I don't think I've mentioned yet. Uh, this game is the first game where you actually get to meet a character named Sid, I'm, if I'm not mistaken. I don't think in the original game they had a character named Sid. I'm almost positive. I really would have to go back and look or look it up. Ooh! Queen Bee! You see? Royalty here, folks. And this is why we teach our, our uh, party spells, so we can hit the nasty guys in the back. 
the, uh, the guys in the back row that we normally could not hit. Wow. I bet you feel pretty awkward now, Queen Bee. You didn't exactly put all of your money onto it. Woo. Maybe we are supposed to be in that castle area. I mean, Min Wu is kind of like really ridiculously overpowered right now. I don't know. If this game had any kind of boundaries, I would feel a little bit more comfortable about going and exploring. But no, it seems like you can just wander into whatever the hell area that you want to. And it seems like if you're over leveled just by a little bit, you could take out big badass enemies that you're not supposed to quite yet. Hmm. But now you see there are soldiers quite nearby. So maybe we maybe we are supposed to go back to that castle. These soldiers aren't quite as evilly intimidating as I once feared. You know the ones that were in the bar at uh that one town by the lake. Ooh, I actually found items. Take all as if I wouldn't take all of his items. In what situation would I be like, oh no, I will not take the items of this lowly peasant? Okay, guys, well, I. Ooh, don't do that on myself. I think I'm gonna have to go back to a village somewhat soon because we're running out of magic abilities, or MP, magic power. But I am glad that you are all looking forward to Final Fantasy II. A lot of you were doing a lot of positive response, so I don't know, I'm looking forward to this. Oh, a guy was looking forward to actually casting his spell. He didn't get to, though. Getting a lot of money, though. Getting a lot of HP ups, though. I'm just following the grassy green field at this point. Hoping that I will not run into a vampire lady. Really? Come on, Maria, you can't hit the guy all the way in the back. You have a bow, for God's sakes. That doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. If you were truly an expert marksman, you'd be able to, like, bypass all the other guys standing in front of them, or even better, shoot through them to hit the goblin pirate in the back. And I know he's like a goblin, like, elite or whatever, but he looks like a gypsy or a, or a pirate or something. Something that wears a bandana. In fact, I think, doesn't our main guy have a, ba uh, I almost said banana. Bandana on. Uh... I thought he did. Somebody does. Does Min Woo? Somebody does. I'm almost positive that earlier I saw somebody having a ban bandana on their head. Well, I can't find the way back to the Dark Knight Town, so I'm just gonna go back to that castle and hope for the best. Although, mm, I really, really, really should go back to the Dark Knight Town just so I can uh, rest up and get all my MP back. Although it does concern me that the Sunfire doesn't know what I'm talking about when I'm Asking it about wild roses and stuff. Maybe I should ask it if it feels the power of the sun. Aww. That's poor form, Balloon. Poor form. Alright, I'm pretty sure the Dark Knight Town was up here near the gray area. Oh my goodness. Could you get any more... Here, can we just run away from this? I really don't feel the need to kill you goblins. I've already proven that I can kill you guys. Here, this weird gray area, I'm almost positive, has the, uh, the Dark Knight area. Town, whatever. Oh, thank you for ambushing me just so half of you can run away. I should kill you guys just on principle. In fact, I think I'm gonna do that. Guy... Roast their asses! Not mine! Come on, guy. Oh, that... That is the smartest hornet I've ever seen in my life. He knew it was coming! He got his hits on, and he left. He just like, oh shit, I see guy chanting. When a big guy like that, who wields... Who dual wields weapons, starts putting the weapons down to chant, you know something bad is gonna happen. And in this case, something okay happened. As if you couldn't hit that queen bee from there. Nothing standing in your way. Whatever. It was thrown down in battle. We found a potion. We took it all. And after all, we got back to here. The Bafask. 
That's right, that's what this place is called. The weird, weird vomiting sound name town thing. Oh god, I'm always gonna end up going back to that guy for some stupid reason. Uh, do you guys have like an ether or something where I can increase my magic? You do? Oh my god, that is expensive. Fuck you guys. Whew, a thousand for an ether. I know it's really convenient and handy and all that, but I can easily just walk my way back and go to the inn, come on in, and spend my money for 41 gil. We all go to our respective beds. Which, you know, are made to fit these beds. One size fits all. We're all the same height, we're all the same width. There is no room for error. Yeah, I, I really can't talk to him. You disappoint me, Dark Knight. Alright, I've got a little bit of money. Just a little bit. Middle tip spear, long bow. Here's a question. Oh no, long sword. Where's that long bow? Yes. I want to see if I can equip two bows on Maria. Long bow. I cannot. Interesting to note. Okay. Well, at least we've got an increase in her norm. In it, bleh. we have upgraded her normal bow. That's okay. Good to know. Hmm. I will also buy that. Thank you very much. Uh. <laughs> Fantastic! That was quite the increase there. And Guy? Oh, Guy. Hmm. Ooh. A, a whole whopping one extra. There we go. Loving it. Gotten a little bit of an upgrade there. Magnifico. Uh, these guys still won't talk to me, you guys all suck. I'm not exactly seeing anywhere else to go aside from that weird castle area. So if it's the wrong place to go, then I'll figure it out on the way home- on the way there, but, you know, once I get there, I should not just assume that it's the wrong place to be. Beer, basuda, ba ba ba. More likely to flee. I never got that. I never really wanted enemies to flee in RPGs, because I lose out on the XP, you know? Or the EXP, or whatever the hell you want to call it. Hmm. I get the impression that I... I'm going to buy Essena. Just because I want to teach it to Maria, because I know that... I know that Minwoo has that ability right now, but Minwoo is either gonna die, be killed, or something bad's gonna happen to him. And it, pardon me for making the girl the white mage, kind of. Sorry if that's sexist in any way, but we all know magic. It just so happens that I am putting preferential treatment on her learning the, the healthiest magic, whereas the guys, in an equally sexist way, are only learning destructive magic. I mean, look at this. I'm giving this giant man two huge weapons. Maybe I should just give Maria two huge weapons. I don't know. I'm playing this by ear. I really am. I'm just gonna see what happens, see what develops. If I change my strategies along the way, then let that be. Holy shit! That was quite a lot of money. Alright, back down to the castle area. Although I do want to investigate this weird area over here. Really want to go through there. Oh no! I have been- uh, I have been ambushed by a sprinterer! Whatever will we do? Oh my god, Maria. It's a giant bird looking at you. How can you miss that? Unless it was like evading. I really want to investigate that giant airship thing. Really bad. I'm trying to see if there's like another cave entrance here. I'm probably going to get ridiculously overpowered here. Just because I'm wandering around trying to find the entrance to a cave that doesn't exist. Or even better, the entrance to the cave is in that, uh... You know what? I'm gonna- I'm going to use that airship, because why the fuck not? Vampire Thorn! So I swear, vampires will bite anything! Vampires will try to suck the blood, or in this case, chlorophyll, 
out of any... It's chlorophyll, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Vampires will try to suck the life juices out of anything that moves in this game. Wow, I found an antidote. That was quite useful. Let's go! Whee! Oh my gosh! Yay! Progression for nothing. 